We describe the safety of EUS-guided gallbladder drainage using lumen-opposing metal stents in patients requiring anticoagulation. We have nothing to disclose. Please see the keywords for the case series listed below. Background. EUS-guided gallbladder drainage can be used to treat acute cholecystitis in patients with medical comorbidities that prevent definitive operative management. As opposed to more established endoscopic procedures, there are no guidelines on the optimal management of anticoagulation in these patients. We report on five patients who underwent EUS-guided gallbladder drainage on long-term anticoagulation and their procedural outcomes. Table 1 outlines each case's baseline description. The average age of the patient group was 64 years. Most patients were male. The most common medical comorbidities were myocardial infarction, congestive heart failure, atrial fibrillation, DVT, and diabetes. Most patients received heparin for anticoagulation. The mean INR pre-procedure was 1.33. The mean PTT pre-procedure was 59.3. Mean hemoglobin pre and post procedure were 11.4 and 11.6 respectively. Anticoagulation was held for a mean of 14 hours prior to the procedure and 30 hours post procedure. Table 2 describes procedural details by case. Technical and clinical success was achieved in 100% of the cases. There were no adverse events related to the procedures including bleeding or thrombotic events. Three patients died within three months of the procedure related to complications of underlying malignancy or their known medical comorbidities. For the purposes of, the, of this video, we will focus on case two. He is a 69-year-old male with paroxysmal atrial fibrillation presenting with non-ST elevation myocardial infarction, necrotizing gallstone pancreatitis as well as acute cholecystitis. He had a heart catheterization which showed severe multivessel coronary artery disease and cardiac bypass was deferred until after management of acute cholecystitis. His heparin was held 24 hours prior to the EUS guided gallbladder drainage. In this video, we will describe the EUS guided gallbladder drainage technique utilized in all of the cases. All procedures were performed with a patient under monitored anesthesia care using a curvy linear array echo endoscope that was advanced into the antrum or the duodenal bulb. Transduodenal or transgastric access was obtained after sonographic visualization of the gallbladder with a measured distance between the gallbladder and the enteric wall of less than 10 millimeters in each case. Using a freehand technique, drainage was performed using cautery enhanced lumen opposing metal stent. The stent position was confirmed under endoscopic and endosonographic guidance. No dilation of the lambs post deployment was performed. The post-procedural course in case 2 is represented pictorially above. Therapeutic heparin was resumed on post-procedural day 2 at the time of coronary artery bypass grafting. No bleeding events occurred within 30 days of the procedure. The patient was discharged on hospital day 28 post-cabbage. Photo A shows a CT abdomen with cholecystoduodenostomy stent in place one month post-procedure. Photo B reveals subsequent EGD performed two months post-procedure, showing spontaneous expulsion of the lambs in the region of prior stent placement. 
The patient underwent laparoscopic cholecystectomy four months after the initial EUS scattered gallbladder drainage. The operation revealed a persistent pinpoint cholecystogastric fistula, which required takedown and closure. He remains asymptomatic at nine months follow-up. Conclusions we report a series of, a success, of successful EUS-guided gallbladder drainage in patients requiring anticoagulation. All stents were placed with quick resumption of anticoagulation without evidence of bleeding during the index hospitalization or within 30 days of the procedure. Long-term data of this study is limited as mean follow-up duration post-procedurally was 6.25 months. Current data does not provide clarity on the safest non-invasive modality to treat cholecystitis in those on anticoagulation, and there are no guidelines on this subject. From our experience, EUS-guided gallbladder drainage appears to be safe in anticoagulated patients with guidelines-directed brief holding of anticoagulation. Thank you.